Good morning and welcome to my weekly roundup. And it's been a busy week. We had three big days with the AIBC conference at Festival City. I hosted a sustainability panel with a number of discussions about energy, the energy transition, climate change, uh, preparing for COP here in UAE, and some of the myths and realities around tech for sustainability. I was also super proud to be awarded Web3 Leader of the Year, which was completely unexpected, but you know, really, really an honor. So today I want to chat with you uh, a bit about education in the metaverse, because as we get the Metaverse Council off the ground, we're going to be specializing and focusing in on some of the key sectors that the metaverse is being used for. And education is going to be one that is absolutely key. Not only because the metaverse can be used to create an immersive experience for students, but also because the world is changing, the way people work, the way people want to consume information is changing, and their access to the internet makes essentially everyone a global citizen. So the first thing is that people have become accustomed through social media to creating and living much more public lives, and they're much more willing to share, communicate, collaborate, access information, and share personal experiences on the internet. And the technology has really given people power. ChatGPT is changing the way that we seek information and that we work. And collaboration platforms give us the ability to be able to connect and collaborate with people anytime, anywhere. Millennials, who will be the bulk of the workforce, 75% by 2025, are very used to and comfortable with digital worlds. And Gen Alpha, who come after them, have grown up with screens in front of their faces. People are much more mobile. It doesn't matter where you're located as long as you have the internet, which means you can receive education and you can communicate anywhere. And boundaries don't exist in the same way as they did. You can be anywhere and still be working and accessing information. So the future of work is going to drive the education of the future and what's going to happen in the metaverse. So the American Bureau of Labor and Statistics has said that the key areas where there'll be job growth is obviously everything digital, computer software, data scientists, statisticians, web developers, and so forth. Healthcare is going to be a big growth industry. Entertainment and all aspects around entertainment is growing as people have more leisure time. And then technicians to fix everything, to fix our drones, to fix our robots, to fix our solar voltaic power. And what some of these occupational growths will mean is that 60% of new jobs in 20, between 2020 and 2030 won't require a degree. So the role of universities is going to change. Now it's estimated that the global augmented reality, virtual reality market in education is going to be 17.8 billion by 2025 with a compound annual growth rate of 5.1%, uh, excuse me, 51.5% from 2020 to 2025. So people really need to get prepared. And at the same time, we have this wonderful growth of technologies that enable the metaverse. So education in the metaverse is going to be around precision and fun and learning. It's going to be much more interactive. It's going to be able to allow people to access a wide range of resources and facilitate social interaction and allow students a far more immersive experience. But because of the data that's being captured and tracked, it will also allow for precision learning to see very quickly when students aren't grasping particular topics and then insert micro courses in to ensure that you're tracking and allowing the successful progress of learners and giving them the support and guidance that they need. So learning will be fun. It'll be much more fun. It will be gamified. And we'll be seeing the introduction of things like learn to earn, earn to learn. So if you're learning, you might be playing a game and you're learning and, and mastering a particular subject, 
then you're going to be able to get paid for that, rewarded with tokens for attendance, for video viewing, and for completed assignments. And all of this is going to be available time and location agnostic, which means anyone, anywhere, 24 hours a day is going to be able to access the metaverse and participate in learning activities. The engagement is going to be deeper and more meaningful with customised learning scenes that maximise the attention of learners. And the interactivity is just going to keep um, young people far more engaged. Field visits are going to be able to undertake, be undertaken in the metaverse. Visiting ancient sites, visiting space, going inside the human body. No paperwork, no transport, no security and travel can be uh, travel's not required, and so it's easy to do field visits as often as people want. Obviously, with all of this, people are developing Metaverse as a service. So if you're an educator and you want to go in and you want to develop some educational courses, you're going to be able to do that. There's a lot, lot more around education that we could talk about, but let me leave you with this thought that education can be taken 24 hours a day without walls, by anyone, anywhere. And that's going to be extraordinary.